we've got a nose wheel and we're sitting on the nose wheel at the moment mm -hmm. which is good it gives us like directional okay, the file is ready the uh the nose wheel will make sure whichever the, the glider is facing now it will continue to face that direction mm -hmm. but i want to have the nose wheel off all right traffic mm -hmm. for the target glider combination lining up on runway zero nine worry because we're slow, I get the stick full backwards and that will give us a little bit of control input. The faster we go, the less stick back I'll give. Mm -hmm. I'll bend, balance the glider on the main wheel and it will take off like that. Mm -hmm. behind the All right, traffic, we give a pass here, a tug and glider combination rolling on runway 09. All right, traffic. Because if I don't get that stick back, we'll continue rolling on the nose wheel. And the, f the wing will never get into an attitude where it wants to fly. The nose wheel is off now, that's why I hold it. Yeah. We're still rolling on the ground, and there we, we're free. Ah. The glider took off by itself. Climb away with the actual tow plane. of the trees and we let him climb on we're going through the slipstream until it's quiet again we're just sitting ah, underneath okay. the slipstream ah. so my, my, hand, my hand on the stick yep. and you've got control and you can feel what i'm doing in the pedals and i'm just following the top plane if he flies a right hand turn i do the same angle of bank so I drop my wing in the same way like he does. That way we're flying a perfect circuit flying. Visibility is good. So just like in a car, we don't want to do anything, we don't do anything. If we wanted to do something, that's when we start with control input. So if I want to go out a little bit to the left, very gently now I'm going out to the left. Almost nothing required to get out to the left. He's starting to fly a right hand turn. I drop the right wing and I face my nose towards his outer wing. Okay. I'm facing the left wing of the top plane at the moment. Mm -hmm. We're flying exactly the same radius like he's flying. Now we will release at 4,000 feet. So what I'll do is I 
I will go up into the slipstream very gently. Now check my airspace. He's going to turn left. Okay. So I make sure that he can turn clearly. And I want to turn to the right. It's all clear. Yep. So I release. And I do a right hand turn. He's going left. We're going to the right. And we're like we're moving. Just adjust that trim. The glider should actually fly by itself just now. It will actually, yes. So if you let go of the stick, yeah, there. But nothing happens. It just continues on in that particular attitude. Just losing a bit of airspeed, yeah. So the top plane will should appear there to the right of us. You mm -hmm. can see him on the horizon. The definitely of it. So I let the fly the glider fly somewhere at 50 knots by itself. This wow. is called a stable platform. The glider will return to this airspeed by itself. <laughs> so you just have to go hand on the control, nice and gentle. It's not a handle. The same with the, uh, with the actual rudder pedals. They're not foot pegs, they're controls. So you relax in the legs, relaxed in your arm, yeah. possibly got your right hand on your leg, balanced. And you just very gently turn the stick to the right to turn to the right. That's all that's required. And very gently to the left to turn to the left. You yeah. always use the rudder and aileron in the same direction. If you want to fly a turn, you always check the airspace. So we want to fly to the left, so we look out to the right first. There's yeah. no one coming from the right. Who is ever is coming from that side? All clear straight ahead and all clear to the left we're returning to. And then we start look straight ahead. I've got an angle of bank. If you quickly look out to the left wing tip and right wing tip, yep. you can see on how far they're below and above the horizon. Yep. So the right wing tip is the same amount of space above the horizon like the other one is below. Fly straight, opposite controls, until we're straight and level again, and you bring everything back to center. So just have a go, just feel what it does. Right to left. Is that right? Yep, and then just bring it straight again. The less input you give, the better. Because you want to feel the response. So you just very gently start the actual turn and see how the glider will be. Turning base to runway 09, Now, on the elevator, just very gently push that stick forward. Very gently. A little bit further forward. See how the nose goes down straight away? You can hear the, the airspeed. Same way when you pull up. Yeah. It's very little required to actually make a change in the attitude. Yeah, it's very sensitive. With the nose comes up. Mark, I think we keep turning final for runway 09. Lenny on the grass, right, Mark. So the nose will rise. You can see the airspeed drop. dropping, yep. And we hear how it's getting quieter. Mm -hmm. We hear the airspeed, so we don't have to look on the panel. Mm. Then the glider will retain, will return to the normal attitude that it was flying in to begin with. Mm -hmm. That's where we've got the trim set. In the middle there, yep. Three. Just do a right hand turn, so you check left airspace, all clear, all clear, all straight ahead, and to the right. You do that real nice and gentle turn to the right. The nose wants to get lower, we just pull back a little bit on the stick. It's in real.
still at 3,000. Yes, so keep turning to the right. You're at 4,360 to the right. The nose doesn't drop too far. Yeah. Straighten up or? No, no, keep turning. Do a full turn like we did before, one to the right, you do a full turn to the left. And we do our pre landing check. We can do that now already. Flaps are not fitted to the aircraft, undercarriage is down and locked. Speed is at 55 to 60 knots and the trim is set for that as well. Your harness is secure and you're sitting comfortable. Mm -hmm. All good? Mm -hmm. Good. So another left hand turn. The back is drawing left arm and drawing zero nine, but then it goes right there. You see the eagles to the right of us? Mm -hmm. All right, traffic Jabo 7380, currently 10 nautical miles inbound in the west. Currently passing through 6,000 feet, taking the circuit in five minutes, Warwick. So these bumps, they're the thermals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are on downwind now. Yep. You see those piano keys down there? That's our aiming point. We're going to land. Piano keys, where? Oh, those ones, yeah. 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 I'm with you, okay? So it's all good. Yeah, it's fine. Uh -huh. it's good. So we're checking our angle downwards towards the runway, which is pretty constant. The lower we get, the closer we'll get to the airfield. So we start turning left. That's mm -hmm. the base leg at the moment. We don't want to fly too fast, so we keep that the nose in the right attitude. Okay. Yeah. And on the air brake, on the blue handle, air brake is identified. Mm -hmm. And we don't let go from now on, so we don't have to look for it. Now look out to the right hand side, there's no one coming in. Mm -hmm. I'm unlocking the air brake now, getting him a little bit off. We are too high, so we would actually end up at the other end of the runway without air brakes. That's where we want to be. Start turning onto final. No brakes. And I get my air brakes out just so we don't stay too high. And we're lined up with the runway, or parallel to the runway. 
Bit, but I didn't want to land. That's what I did. I didn't touch down. The glider touched down by itself. I kept the nose up mm -hmm. and it slowed down automatically. And once we didn't have enough airspeed for the glider to fly, it touched down. It touched down as well. And yeah. all I did is judge the whole thing just about 20 30 centimeters off the ground. Mm. So I did not touch down. The glider did. As soon as I go, like, I want to land now, that's when you bounce. Mm. <laughs> that, was a, that was amazing. Wow, it's so light. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, can I get out there? 